Okay, let's talk about uh, speakers here in a minute because I'm gonna talk about speakers. I got the Iowa's back. These Iowa's, oh my god, these things sound a lot cleaner. Uh, these sound a lot cleaner than these two. These Polk Audios, uh, it's just, here's the thing with these, uh, this thing. This, these Iowa's, they, they tend to be more clear because they're, they got, um, a tweeter, a mid-range, I think that's a fake tweeter by the way, but it's also got a big woofer. Next, it has more, uh, it has more lows, it's more lifelike than these. These, these pole volumes are so flat. I think there's not enough, there's just not enough lows, there's not enough, and there's good highs in these, but they're just not good enough lows in them. Because there's not enough lows or mid-range to it. But they, these deliver more highs and lows. And the high and lows in these speakers, that they sound a hell of a lot better. In my opinion, the old, um, new, the old speakers sound better than the new speaker does. And these are newer speakers. And these got at least be from the mid 2000s or something like that, or late 2000s. Before they changed their names to just Hulk. Uh, I wish I could play music, but. Oh, we'll see if we can get the laptop to go, but we can get the go. Hey guys, I even tried, even with the equalizer and the laptop all the way up, boosting everything, even turn the mid-range off on the, uh, Pogolius. It sounded like it was too low, and its volume was too low. You did that, and it caused it to be restored or something like that. The sound would be restored. I don't know what I don't get what I just don't get. What's the spot on here? I'm not gonna turn the set deck on because that's actually kinda of hard to get. Um here yeah, I got Kevin Sharp put very cute up on here. Uh we'll play it. We'll play it. <laughs> Now, if I hook up the air speaker, I'll be back here. Hook the air speaker back up, I'll be back. Okay, I'm not hooking the other one back up because that was just a pain in the ass just to get back on here. Oh, I guess he's not gonna work now. I think these wires are too pain in the ass already. But yeah, you hear it. These four walls closing more. That's really flat. But if I go back to the Iowa from the, from the 90s, just back up. Okay, and then there you go. It's like it's got more highs to it than the other one did. It's like that led just lower lows and there's more highs to it. They sound so flat on these speakers. I this when I switch back and forth. That I noticed that I just really noticed that we'll play their song here. And it shows you how good the songs are. In one song here, actually we'll play one good bass to it. Oh. See, and this was the part because the, the uh, those, those poke oils will never hit that low with frequency. Okay, we'll put uh, Hillary Death on. We'll put um, so yesterday. This is all my childhood songs. Yeah, it definitely is punching. These speakers are punching away. These speakers are really 
um, really punching away. I mean, I like these speakers. I mean, I'll play, um, play some, um, Kid Rock. I'll play, uh, The Good Ones, one of the good songs. Uh, uh, Cocker. Cocky. Play that one, play Cocky. This is their song, uh, it never seems to get, the bass is always, can be on these speakers or just seems to be better. I just like when I play the drink cast too, that the bass is more better. I see, let's play, uh, picture actually. That one has a better hot, low sweat. Tells you that those can hit really low notes. That can hit really low notes to that. And the other one was getting ready to play. I'm trying to think of it what it was. I was playing that. I should just play this one. Here's Beatles. I can tell you that, I got you, we were playing the White Album CD, and where the hell that CD, playing that song. Uh, played this one here, because this is one, uh, Warren played it for some reason, I never heard it in a long time, and Warren played it, I was like, oh man, it was like memories. Okay, let's try, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, uh, actually, we still want to have a good bass to it. And it was just no more tears. <laughs> Which is another album I wore the hell out of. <laughs> American wore the hell out of. But, yeah, you can tell, I mean, uh, and everyone's gonna play with Nightmare right now, let's check Johnson upside down, because this one has really low notes. Johnson. This has really low, I just not about this song, this song has really good low notes, and, uh, um, Big Lots and, um, and they said, because this song, they play the song of uh, Big Lots and, uh, Beach Mont, and they actually have their speakers that have good bass to in her old speaker. I think that might be broken from his ex. Old broken or broken his ex. I don't remember. I think one of the guys here used to have. He definitely used to have. Who's to say? What's impossible for the day for them? Just work and spend them. But yeah, there's something that these speakers, these poke all could never do was hit that low of a note. And that's my complaint about them. I mean, I, I actually, when I, did the, when I did use the equalizer on the set, it actually made the, um, it didn't sound flat on the uh, setting no more, because the setting sounded a lot better than it did when I played the cassette. I think it, it's a little more high, is what it's doing, and it's, I think these, uh, Polkoys are also mid-range heavy, but it's because this speaker has more of a, um, bass. The bass actually helps it get more clear. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, let's play, um, play Dirty Dead Man, or play, play this one. I'll pretty play this one a lot. Let's try that one. Let's try another one, actually. Let's try, uh, Killers, just the bright side. This is another one that's got a good bass to it. That's just fun listening to the bass on these things. Let's try Luckily Pews, Miss You. I guess I used to have the album for this too. A long time ago. This one's a good bass to it, anyways. The other way song that has good bass is Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. There it is. 
This one has a lot of base. You see Drift Tour cost for uh from the here you see the ace used to be all the time of course used to be uh, an ace uh, hardware. So just like the drift store had a big giant speaker and this thing you can actually get a base in this thing shaking. So like old I think like old CNC or something like that. I remember that they were old seventies. Uh oh Bill Joel. Actually, play this one. Let's try uh, Eminem. Um, I think which one I want to play. There's only one. Like this one, Eminem share. Let's play. Um, damn, I don't know what song I want to play. I mean, what's like that one? Oh. But yeah, that, that takes a good song. Oh, you know what? Play this one. Another one. This might be a little too. Try this one. But we're gonna stop here because. That that pretty because these speakers if you heard them before in the previous videos these things are so flat there's none of highs in them this has more highs to than these these are just because that these are just this is just more bigger it's a bigger woofer and you compare the size to them too but I think these have better drivers in them it's not just that I think these just have better drivers because I think this TV with this build speakers it. Sounds a lot better than this TV. The speakers on this TV sounds a lot better than that TV or any TV I actually had. I mean, during the element, because the highs and lows on this one and this TV is actually good too. And it's just the speakers. It depends on this, just the speaker and the amplifier. At this point, the speakers were the problem, not the the not the stereo, the sound quality. Except for the tuner, because the tuner actually sounds really, really low. But it's more warmer, more, it gives it more of a punch, it gets a much better sound. And I like the 90 speakers. And there's something I could change about, and there's something I would change about it. I mean, there's stuff that I would probably get two more, but I don't need more. But if I wanted to get a surround sound system, yeah, that's good. And this is just the, uh, and this is actually with the equalizer on the um, laptop, full blast, too. I tried adjusting the equalizer, or it wouldn't get too much read range, and these sounded so terrible that you can barely hear them. So these speakers weren't just, they just suck crap in comparison to the, um, the newer speakers, the, the, to the old speakers, the old 90, they are from at least 94, because that's when, um, he was YouTuber, um, Meister and Run, he has one of these, one of these sort of, because it was in his family, but it was make out nerd in it. Keep a little shrimp receiver that was brand new back in '94. In the mid '90s, they got in the mid '90s. His family got in the mid '90s. And I like watching speaker videos. And they, Iowa was one of the good brands. I remember I had an Iowa boombox. So my dad sold it. It, it had a, it was like one of the detachable speakers, and it sounded really good. And Iowa before they went bankrupt. They had a really good sound system. They just, they just, the, and towards the end, like their stereos had a problem with the amplifier. But, yeah, this, the audio is not bad. I mean, I like it better than, um, the Polk Audios. I wouldn't recommend the, um, Iowa's. So, and these, 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 these headphones are seeing situation. So these could actually be fit, adjusted. 
Yes, they won't be low, but you know, they sound, the volume will be lower, but they will sound better. And these FMs do, these headphones do get really loud, they got more power output. And that's why the this is not good, because it's got no good uh, higher um, good uh, higher output than these do. These have their uh, higher output. So, that's why. And the um, Sony sounds better than the Iowa boombox over there, and the, so and the Philips I have, because it sounds a lot more, more high than that. Yeah, well, I can say that, that, um, yeah, go for it, because the equalizer has to be on the laptop for that, so that's just how good. So then they'll be turning the, uh, levers. The, um, the, uh, if you turn the equalizer off, the, the laptop sounds like shit, even the built-in speakers will start sound like shit, it's, because you have to have it adjusted, so what I do recommend, if, I do really don't recommend this laptop, because it's actually cheap. And it known, it's known to have problems. It's, um, yeah. It's a good lap. I mean, but the back on this uh, laptop is very good, though. I'll say the back on this laptop is better. Than... And my phone has better back, too. So it's not the phone. I mean, actually, I say my phone either. It's the, uh, mm. it's just the speaker, sometimes, or headphones, or something like crap. My phone has a good, good DAC. I mean, it's cheap ones that do have a bad DAC. Like the ones you get like for a dollar store, like dollar for a dollar in Dollar General and Walmart for like thirty bucks. Down to close thirty bucks. And this one for a hundred dollars. This one was a hundred dollar phone and this one actually has a better deck to it. So there we go.